Hello and welcome back to Rock Bottom. Welcome back. We're gonna show him just how crazy this party can get. This is incandescent space. Can you see? Can you tell? This is an astronomical board. Well, well I mean, it displays, obviously. It displays the endless void. It's said to be powered by time. Just That's like, great. Just like my car. Sure. Sure. It can't be powered by time. Shut up. That's not a thing that happens. <laughs> this is our first meeting with Jester, if I'm not... Yup. I don't know if you're mistaken. <laughs> Your struggles are in vain. <laughs> I see how it is, doll. Yeah. I see how it is. My mortal enemy. There's no need to use violence, devil boy. Devil boy. Well, if it's not solving my problems, I'm just simply not using enough of it. Is very sturdy. You see? Fucking love just up. Yeah. Like, what the fuck character is this? That would be a very painful. <laughs> For you. Power generator, even. In order to open the door, you need to apply a little something to it first. Do you know what that is, kid? Or is that too difficult? I'm just, I'm just entranced by this performance. It's so good. Pretty much. <laughs> he is just dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Who voices this guy? Okay, Google. Who voices Jester in Devil May Cry 3? Uh. Oh, of course, of course. I'm not gonna say because it, yeah, I just remember the thing. Um, Jester is great though. He's fucking awesome. So yeah, <laughs> fucking love that guy. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you still piss me off. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the edge. Oh. Oh. Oh Dante. And he's still less edgy than yeah. than DMC Dante. Yeah. That's the that's I I just I can't wrap my head around it. No. He's still less edgy. Virtual is less edgy than DMC Dante. Pretty much. Pretty much. How could they... And it's and it's played sort of straight as well. Yeah, in DMC? In DMC, yeah. yeah. It, it's played totally straight. Yeah. There's not even... Oh, here we go. Oh, hey! It's played totally straight Welcome to new best weapon. Welcome to die first a couple times, probably. Maybe. I don't want a blue orb. You don't want a blue orb? I don't want a blue orb right now. I want stars. Okay. That should do it. And then we want... Keyword should. Sh <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have a turn. <laughs> so... That's why I get to sit here and be fucking sassy. <laughs> yeah. And welcome to hell. Please accept my gift. Don't be humble. Just take it. Just take it. This is really cool and super edgy. <laughs> blood goils. Fucking blood goils. You remember the thing about these? Yeah, you shoot them and then they turn to stone and then you can attack them. Yeah, if you, uh, if you attack them with a sword, they split. So they actually have a... have a thing you're supposed to do against them. Yeah. You can't, you can't just wail mindlessly on them. I like that. That's yeah. that's pretty old. <laughs> oh right, I forgot about that. The number of the yeah, stages yeah, yeah, yeah. in every cutscene. Yep. I totally forgot about that. There we go. Once you know the trick, though, it's they're kind of not really anything. These guys. <laughs> that one didn't even petrify. Just die. 
<laughs> well, you had given it some damage. I know, I know, but still. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, more. More indeed! Oh, it's a big one. Big daddy block coil. Stop with the stinger. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, gee, ooh. <laughs> Look at it. Ah, got me. Uh, no. You got me, Mr. Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. That's my preferred way of showing frustration. <laughs> just start singing fucking duels of fate. That's another movie that takes that's another what? Another thing that just takes itself way too seriously. The first Star Wars prequels. And you know what? That's the funny thing. Oh I'm Oh right, I'm battling him. That's that's what that was the thing in, in. Yeah, this is uh, something that happens in the special. Yeah. Version. Um, <laughs> confetti comes oh, out. Oh yeah, shooting. fucking confetti blood. Whee! 2005, right? Is the uh, is the release of? I don't know if it's the release of the original, the uh, Don't Cry Free, or if it's only if it's only uh, the, uh, if it's only the special edition. But in any way, it coincides with the fucking release of Episode Three of Star Wars. You know? Yeah. Another game featuring just an absolutely insufferable edge lord. Woo! Anakin Skywalker, of course. Indeed. I hate you! Fuck that guy. <laughs> and he's like. And he's. Hayden Christensen, the guy who played Anakin in episode 2 and 3. He's. He's like, he's like half Danish or something. Oh? Yeah, I'm really ashamed. The animations on this guy is just, they're perfect. Pretty much. <laughs> and he even dances when I shoot him all the time. That's dope. There we go. I, I feel like Jester is already more a complete character, more of a complete character than anything we've seen in this game so far. <laughs> Basically, and I love it. Basically, Jester is perfect. Jester's life. Jester's love. There's something about the green orb, right? I think so. Ow. I think it heals you instead of damaging you. Yeah, I do believe so, but I couldn't catch it. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Come on, with the million stab. There we go. Break down! I love that he has his own icon as well. This guy's well branded. Indeed. This guy would never make it on new YouTube. Ow. <laughs> what the fuck, YouTube? Come on, guys. What are you doing? I'm proud of you. Give it up. <laughs> Come on, Dante. There we go. Ugh. Oh boy. <laughs> He's still just fucking with you. He's also he's very Japanese. Very. Very Japanese. So that was fun. A little bit of yeah. extra orbs. Giant Walker Chamber? Is that what it's called? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I can sort of tell. So that's three bosses down already. That's delightful. Okay, so we got that thing that runs on time. Oh, is it that it runs on time, as in, as in, like a clock that that never, that never stops, or goes out of time, or is it just that it's powered by time? I think it was powered by time. Yeah. Okay. Whatever that means. Yeah. Fuck all, basically. Pretty much. I have to insert it somewhere here. There we go. Oh, cocks are not actually connected to fucking anything. My favorite trope. Yay! I hate that. I love seeing when stuff is like when it's when it works mechanically. Yeah. Oh, there's a jump point. 
here comes Junkie. I love, I love when stuff, when you can see the stuff works and that it's made to look like it works. The other way around, that doesn't fly with me, dude. No. <laughs> Do you want to read that loud? Vajura, a model of a, uh, a model of an ancient weapon used to control lightning. This is merely an ornament. Vajura. Vajura. <laughs> so, so last time we played, uh, last time we played, don't we cry. I don't know if you remember, but we made the <laughs> the joke about Jesper having a free prong, free pronged penis. I, I think Jesper made that joke about me having a free pronged penis. Was, was, was that what it was? Yeah, I think. It Whatever was. it was, we have found a free pointed badge. <laughs> And it's supposed to be a Vajra, not a Vajura. It's meant to control lightning, which means that we probably have to insert it in some type of machinery. It doesn't work. Luckily, I know exactly where that is because that right there is is just uh, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of uh, of a copy of something that happened in um, in the first Elmer Cry. Pretty much. Yeah. If you remember. Yep. <laughs> the fucking trident was what made the machinery work. Because that's how things work. Exactly. Was it here? Yes. Entrance way. Oh my god. Notice how I've completely given up on using um, servers already. Yep. Because why even? Rebellion is just better. Yeah. Is here in the living statue? Fucking camera, dude. Yay! Camera angles! My favorite. Alright. We're leveling up our style soon. Awesome! Just insert the badge here. Yup. It's the same animation, even. I'm sure that was the same animation. It, right. it, it looks very much like the same animation. Yeah. Just reuse what you can. I respect that. Just don't reuse broken code, Ubisoft. <laughs> True that. Soul of Steel! The essence of a powerless and fearless soul. Its possessor need not fear hell nor oblivion. That's pretty metal. That is actually pretty metal. A Soul of Steel? Be my first album. <laughs> <laughs> my, um, of my... My Christian children rock band. <laughs> Christian children rock band. Yeah, a kid's Christian rock band. Why not? Yeah. Stranger things have happened. Yeah. Maybe I could get Laserhawk to, uh, to feature on my <laughs> on my <laughs> album. <laughs> or maybe Arm Cannon. Maybe Arm Cannon. Yeah. That that would be dope. <laughs> I love, I love those instances of us just finding weird music. Yep. Fucking... Yeah, we, we just searched for, like, we were in the mood for some metal. We just searched metal on Spotify and, and a band called Laserhawk showed up with a song called Pedal to the Metal. And it's, it's, it's so far from metal. It's, it's, it's some type of electronica. That was actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we listened to some more Laserhawk and, and then it w just wasn't really good. Yeah. That one track was really good, but and then then there was that other time, I don't quite remember what we searched for, but we ended up with uh, with Arm Cannon. I think you were going through some of the bands that was going to uh, star at uh, that year's Ross Killer Festival. No, they weren't there. Or or something like that. Style level up! Holy shit! That was amazing. I don't. I don't. Very, think so. very intrusive. Style level up. Holy shit! But I don't. I don't remember anyway. But like, we just, we just, just experienced this band called Arm Cannon with a song called Smack My Man Free, <laughs> Return of Magma Man, and turns out they do Arm Cannon. Not unsurprisingly, does Mega Man covers, which is awesome. Mega Man music is fucking great. You know who? You know who made Mega Man? You know who fucking made, made Mega Man? Fucking Capcom, dude. <laughs> so... All the Capcom? Yeah. Yeah. 
Capcom makes some good games. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and you can experience them now <laughs> for only... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wasn't, isn't, isn't uh, Devil May Cry HD collection super, um, super uh, discounted right now on PSN? I have no idea. I don't know. But there's a thing about Capcom being super, uh, super malicious to, <laughs> to like the online community, like with Let's Players and stuff. Oh? I don't know. I mean, we, we have that constant ID match thing on, on, on the first Devil May Cry that never went anywhere, so I guess that was alright. I... I activated something in there, but there was only that one way, and, wasn't it? And you got the Soul of Steel. Oh, right, I got the Soul of Steel. Right, 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 that makes that I can make so that I can walk across right. the other thing, I do believe. The Endless Inferno. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only proper, only proper response to that. Yeah. And you know what, we'll go there next time on Rock Bottom. <laughs>